What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Orkish Inn. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon, and I'm really excited about this game right here. Let me tell you why. I've been eyeing this game since like 2014. To my understanding, it's a one-person project for the most part, or if all the part really. So the development has been kind of slow for it. But this is now on Steam available for a free pre-alpha PC demo download, whatever you want to go with here. So if you have Steam or even Itch, I believe it's on Itch as well. You can now download this current version I'm playing here today for free. And um, keep an eye on the game going forward. Now, on Steam right now it says like 2017 is the target release date. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I hope it's true because this game is awesome. Essentially, to give you a quick rundown, you are an orc, hence orcish in. And you start yourself up from a fantasy little world over here from the ground up. And what you want to do here, your ultimate goal is to build a fantasy world renowned tavern slash inn. And you got to do that from the ground up. So you basically get dropped in this world. You got to start um, cutting down trees for wood and supplies. You got to start farming for your food in order to keep yourself fed and hydrated. In order for you to continue surviving until you could get your world renowned inn tavern up and running and operational so it's basically an entire operation from the ground up which is great i'm really excited about this and um let's get into the game over here and check it out if you guys want to see more of this do let me know in the comments and i'll consider keeping it around this the channel for uh, maybe a couple of episodes at the very least i'm not entirely sure how much is available in the pre-alpha demo not to mention i haven't really played too much of this myself even though i've been eyeing it for a while it's one of those games where i've been eyeing but i haven't necessarily checked out like myself to play because it's kind of like, you know, I knew it was kind of like far off from actual release, so I don't necessarily want to kind of bloop on myself early on. But if you guys want to see more of this current build, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like and we might check this out further. But for now, let's go over here to Scout. And we're generating a world only for me. How nice. Now, when you generate a world, you do have the option to re-roll it if you don't really like what's, um, what you could see right here. So... At the moment, I have no idea what the green water means. And let me tell you right now, this game is beautiful. It is so beautiful. It's this, it's not like, you know, realistic graphics, obviously. But the art style is just very colorful, very vibrant, and I really enjoy that in games. I have no idea what the green water means. So I'm going to actually re-roll this, you know? <laughs> do, a, do a different region, Orc Man. Sure. Sure, why not? Click to settle down in this region. Okay. I don't want to waste your time over here being like, oh, let me just re-roll and try to get a good one here. Rah, rah, rah. All right, the Orcish Inn. This is a pre-alpha state, so please bear in mind that, you know, it's missing features, mechanics, contents. You know, it's a pre-alpha game. You guys are fully aware what that means. It's not even a game. It's more a demo, really. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to read all of that for you. You can pause and read if you want to. I just want to get some of the gameplay up and running here because we will be doing quite a bit of reading. So let's start off over here with the basics. Welcome. Dear friend, this book is dedicated to you, may it accompany you on your journey to become an appreciated innkeeper. It's called the Book of Challenges, a book full of tasks arranged in the category shown on the left. So essentially, it's a way to teach you how to play the game, giving you tasks, and the tasks you complete will give you points in order for you to level yourself up as well with different types of skills. Survival skills like less hunger, better at gathering, more caring capacity, you name it. So, um, yeah, thank you. Let's go ahead and scroll down here, and I, I will claim my reward of two knowledge points. Character improvements. And this is essentially what we just talked about, increasing your your skill, your character altogether. So since we have two points, let's come over here to our level up scene. If you guys want to like pause and read that, by all means go for it. I will just give you like a quick um, rundown of what this is basically telling us here so we don't spend too much time reading. Um, right now we have two points to distribute. I normally like to start off with um, this one right here, Effective Worker. I mean, I normally like to start off. I played this game for like maybe half an hour tops, but you know, I'm apparently a pro now. Uh, decreases your stamina loss during work by 10% total, which is good. I like to be able to work without getting tired too often. Down here is what um, your stamina meter looks like. This is your hunger meter. We'll talk more about that pretty soon, though. So let's go over here and uh, pick up Effective Worker Level 1. Now, every time you level up one of these skills, um, everything altogether costs a lot more to level up. So, for instance, the first one was 2 points. Now, the next one for this one would be 8 points. And then the other ones now have increased to 4 from 2. So it's all kind of like, you know, cumulative in a sense. So with that done, let's come over here, and since we leveled ourselves up, we get another extra point. Great. Alrighty, now we have the Hammer Axe. Uh, the Hammer Axe is going to be right over here, number three, which is essentially effective for bringing down trees, bushes, you name it. It'll be like your all-around tool to, you know, gather supplies. So this is essentially what it's telling you. You can hold down the swing in order to get a more effective swing in there, which lets you collect more items, but it also expends more stamina as well. 
So right now, we had only one stat point, I can't do much, so I will save that for later. Let's come over here now and use our axe. There it is. And let's see. Hey, little birdies, how you guys doing? As I mentioned, it's a very colorful and vibrant game. I really enjoy everything about this. I really want this to come out this year, because, man, I think this could be a really, really awesome game down the line. All right, so right now, let's actually bring out this little small little critter here. And we'll do... Oh, that's a good swing. We got... Was that a 41 of... I think we got 41 leaves. We brought this down in, like, one swing. There's a stump left over, which will give me a couple more wood. Some, I think, apples, maybe? Hey, it's not a bad biome. <laughs> the one I started with off-camera had no apples whatsoever, so... This might keep us fed for a while. This is water, which we can swim through. I have no idea what anything over here is, so I'm scared of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. But anyway, we accomplished our task over here. There's a bit of water we could swim through. Um, we could also look for places to um, fish at. And I don't think this is a really good fishing area. Maybe if we follow the stream upwards. Oh, that's where it ends, huh? Mm, okay. Well, I'm trying to get an eye on for things because we're going to also look for a place to kind of set up our tent and also a place to farm. Over here looks pretty good, honestly. Let's see if we can kind of like maneuver ourselves through here. There's a log in the way. This would not be too bad. I kind of like this a little bit. Oh, even over here is better. Maybe. I got like this really weird marshland thing happening. All right, whatever. Let's post up over here for now, and let's see what this guy is um, yammering about here. Yeah, yeah, I got it done. The hammer axe is done. Perfect. One knowledge point. Great. Inventory and hunger. So, down here would be our hunger meter, a little fish thing. You have a full blue bar, or I guess blue circle to be more exact. Um, and when that depletes completely, it'll turn a red, and then the red will fill upwards. If you get completely hungry, like full, like complete, or I guess empty would be more ideal... Um, you don't die, but you inquire negative effects, which impedes your movement speed, how fast you collect stuff, how much you can carry, and they will kind of, like, proceed until you finally get some food in you and wait for, like, 24 hours so the negative effects are gone. So you definitely want to keep an eye on that. So right now, we're going to go over to our bag and get some food in us. And here is our bread. You start off with 50, so it does give you a good supply to survive early onwards here. So we will eat this by right-clicking on it, if I'm correct. As you can see... Right there, it kind of filled up a bit. Stamina is neat going down, though. So we'll worry about that soon. So inventory hunger is done. We got ourselves another knowledge point. We need one more for another level of a skill. And then we also have 20 rope as well, which I do believe is the next um, lesson, climbing. Um, So for climbing, I do believe we have to build them first. We got rope, but now we have to turn them into climbing rope. And this is where some of the crafting comes into play. Now, mind is this like the minimalistic craft that you can make with your hands. You will also be able to build, like... Legit crafting stations for, like, you know, more, I guess, further projects and stuff like that. Uh, like, maybe setting up, like, a, I don't know, like, a fucking wall. You probably can't build a wall with your hands just, like, you know, out of your backpack. So you might need, like, a, an actual workbench or something, you know? What do I know? I'm not a fucking carpenter, man. Do they build walls? I imagine they probably build walls. They're carpenters. They deal with houses, right? Uh, there's got to be walls involved with houses, right? Whatever. Um, so, let's come over here to 2. Now, two is our little, like, shovel, and this is where you kind of, like, do all of your building and stuff like that. So, what we're looking to do right now is to... I already forgot, to be honest with you. Oh, the rope, right. Right. Uh, <laughs> I, I got it, don't you worry. I, I, forgot, I remembered. I forget easily, but I remember this time. So, since we have rope, we're going to make climbing rope. And um, I guess we could just make all of them, right? Yeah, why not? If you click shift and right click, I do believe it turns all of them. And like, all the stock that you have into climbing ropes, if I'm correct. Assuming I did that right. Did I do that correctly? No. No, I I'm a fool. There's a, there's a way to do that. Oh, shift. There we go. Shift. Oh, I hit... I hit, um, control, was it? So, it's shifting. Well, I don't know what I just did. Either way, I got, I got a couple of ropes now. And this is what we're looking to do, because we are going to... Get, get out of here. Okay, you get out of here right now. We use the climbing rope over here, and as, as you can see over here, we have like a, a bit of a ledge, right? We cannot get on top of over here. Like, this guy has no hops whatsoever, so he does not dare even attempt jumping over his little small ledge. So, unfortunately, we do need a rope for that, so I'm going to place that right over here. And now we have a way to get onto the second level over here. Now, is this, this is straight up ice, isn't it? Is it ice? What is ice doing over here in the middle of the... I don't even want to question what's happening here, but... Hmm... This is a really weird biome, man. I don't like this biome whatsoever. I would re-roll again if I had a chance. But anyway, we're here. Might as well survive with it. Um, so we've done that. Let's go over here to climbing, pick up my reward. We now have enough to level ourselves up again. Let's do that. 
Um, let me go ahead and pick up mm, Effective Eater. Can be useful as well. Yeah, let's pick up Effective Eater. Or actually, something with stamina would be nice. I, I think this is for food. This increases your overall stamina, but you have to rest longer. But then again, you don't get tired as often because your stamina has increased. So I'm going to pick this one up over here, Thinker. Okay. So what do we have next here? Prepare for the night. So for this one, if I'm right, where do you have the logs from that tree we brought down? We need 200 leaves in order to, well, 200 leaves and five logs to make ourselves a tent. So we could actually start resting and stuff like that. Now, let's get out of here, and if I go over to my inventory, we have 41 apple leaves. Now, do you guys also count for leaves? Does it have to be like a specific type of leaf, or <laughs> just any type of leaf? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. You better not get all specific on me, man. Don't do this whole, like, oh, no, I'm sorry. You're looking for the leaves of an oak tree, my friend. It's like, wait, it's, it's a fucking leaf, dude. Just use, this, use the leaf. It's fine. Um, That might take a while to bring down. I think you might be more ideal for us, so... Let me hold, swing, we got 22 apple leaves. Remember guys, they're apple leaves, not oak leaves here. So if the game asks for oak leaves, I guess we'll find our answer to my inquiry here. And another swing in there, ooh, 56 I believe we just got from that one. No, don't don't hit that, that's gonna be just a, just a stump. And I do believe we're overweight. When you're overweight, it's a pain in the ass because this is how slow you walk. You can make a inventory thing, but it takes a while. I also can buy a a backpack from the the orc dude who dropped us off over here. So do I have enough now? I have 118 oak leaves. I got 63 apple leaves. They better be able to mix together, man. I really don't want to go through this whole ordeal where I'm looking for one type of trio together. I'm terrible at, like, you know, any sort of thing that requires me to identify stuff. Like, you know, what is this falcon? Oh, it's a, it's a rabbit. No, wrong, it's a hare. It's like, okay, well, it looks like a rabbit. No, it's a fucking hare. It's like, okay. What is this, Falcon? It's a wolf. Wrong! It's a wild dog. It's like, okay. Wouldn't it be kind of almost the same thing? No! Falcon. It's like, okay, fine. I'm really terrible when it comes to identifying stuff. <laughs> I just made that scenario up. I'm not sure who in the world would come over here and quiz me that way. Like, why they gotta be so angry about it, too? Like, dude, okay, I got the animal wrong. Why are you yelling at me this way? But apparently it happens in my weird fantasy world here. Um, let's see, are we good now? We are at 118. I feel like we have a lot of leaves of everything in the world here. So how about we give this a try now? I think, oh yeah, they all they all gather up. It doesn't matter what type of leaf it is. Perfect. All right, I'm happy now. Let me claim my reward. And um, if we can, i got to find a good spot for us to sleep. Now, you want to find a good spot to sleep that you could also summon the the merchant dude to come at you because he'll come over and like where you live and he'll like make trades for you. It would make it a lot easier because you could put up like little posts for him to kind of like stop at like a bus stop. It's really weird. Um, I guess this will have to do. I'm really annoyed by the fact that we can't walk fast, but what I'm going to do here is the moment we clear this up and get my tent, I'm going to just sell all the excess wood that we have to the merchant and that'll easily take all of our, Weight capacity off. You're exhausted. Oh shit, we're in red and red. We might incur a negative status here, so I don't want that happening. Let me come over to... Um, let me get some food first. Now, in terms of the stamina, we have to sleep. Or we have to fish. Apparently, fishing also... Um, well, it's a relaxing thing, fishing. It's a hobby for a lot of people. So I guess um, fishing does also lower your stamina or increase it. Uh, whichever one you prefer. Alright, so this is fine here. Let's come over and um, make ourselves a tent. We have to go to utility. There it is. So we'll double click you, and we'll place you right over, can I rotate you? Hold and shift and, oh, I can rotate, no, I can't. No, actually, I just placed it. Game, you, oh, right click, not left click. That's my, that's on me, that's my bad, I, I left click. The game was right, I was in the wrong. So either way, we have it. Um, here's our tent now, what do you want me to do? Sleeping in stamina, you want me to go to sleep? And here's the hawker's post. So we're going to be using this in order to move the orc from that initial spot that he dropped us off at over here instead. So let's um, go back into our inventory if we can. Book, go away. I got it. Hawker post. You know, right click to bring this up. And let's see. Like if you hang out like over here, it would be very ideal. Now this is all matter of the time of day. So there he comes. Perfect. He only shows up in the afternoon. The moment um, nighttime pops up, he just books it for good. 
Now, I do believe the trees that are in the way does impede him to go to that actual spot. So, if you want to get him to go to that spot, you could knock down the trees. But again, you could also interact with him from any spot available as long as you're near him. So, at the moment, if I could just fight... Can you stop, like, being translucent, my friend? Excuse me. You're not a fucking ghost, okay? Here it is. We can just interact with him this way. So, the hawker, I got my reward. We need some training. What do you want me to trade with him? Wait until midday, it's here. And buy all the seeds that he has. Perfect. So let's um, click on you. Trade and... There it is. We're going to pick up everything that he has here. So he has oat seeds, hop seeds, and sugar beet seeds. And if I'm correct, you... Shift and click. We got all of them, I think. No, no. It's... What the fuck is it to get everything? Control? Okay, it's control. There's the control one. So control and click will get you all the stock of that item. So I picked up all the seeds that he had because we'll be planting some stuff here pretty soon sugar beet soap how about that fertilizer i do believe you get that as a reward so i won't buy it myself we have yeast rope as well medicine's going to be really useful if you pick up a bad effect and we might because we're overtired so we might pick up an infection overnight i hope we don't but it's a possibility okay so we got everything that he had over here um and now we will go ahead and get our reward excellent finally we got five extra points for finishing up this area now the survival option is opened up stamina uh, let's see. So fishing is a very effective way to um, get your stamina during the day. As a matter of fact, if you're tired during the daytime, the only way you can get your stamina back is by fishing and maybe items or something. But you can't sleep whenever you want to. You gotta wait for like evening or nighttime or something. I got a little bit freaked out by the time changing, I think. I heard like some bells in the background. It either happened in the game or in my... in real life. Which is kind of weird, because I don't think I have any sort of, like, bells around my area of the neighborhood. <laughs> Maybe I'm dying, who knows. It's the holy bells of, um, the pearly gates. Yeah, let's be honest here. I don't think I'm making it to the pearly gates, man. Um, so I think we're done here. Let's see, what else can we do? We have enough time for more, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. So, let's see if I can sleep. I doubt it. Even though I'm... Maybe I could just because I'm really worn out. So if you go, yeah, I can't sleep, it's not dusk or night, so you can't sleep in the evening, I do have to go fishing. Which is fine, we do have a fishing run, I want to say, yeah, number eight will be it. Um, okay, you know what we should do though, before we go find a fishing spot? My friend, I need you to buy all the wood that I have, because it's kind of a pain in the ass. So, sell all that. Are we underweight? We are underweight now, it does seem. But, if we have more wood... We do, let's sell it. Now you're probably thinking, Falcon, you need that wood for stuff in the future. You're right. But we could also easily collect wood. I mean, I mean, first and first first and foremost, giggity giggity. But second of all, we're fucking surrounded by trees, man. We don't have to worry about wood for a while. Again, giggity giggity. Um, so let's what the hell is this like anaconda oak thing here? Let me bring out my tool. Excuse me, my friends, you're in the way. Get, get out of the way. Get, get out of the way, okay? I'm trying to go out here to fish and get my stamina back. I'm starving as well. Oh, what, what is this? Like everything in the fucking way imaginable now? Get, get out of the way. Okay, really? Really? <laughs> We're fucking doing this shit, huh? We're just doing it this way. Okay. I'll pick up some stone as well. You think I'm tired? I'm not tired. Then again, is there, you know, I mean, there's a way that there's water down there, but I'm not sure there's any, like, fish to actually be had. You actually have to pick up items or fish from fishing in order to get your stamina back. Oh, I'm overweight again? Would be. Uh, let's see. Let's get some food in us to begin with. And there he goes, he's gone. So I can't actually go back to my tent and sleep now, but if I did that, it kind of, like, ruined the entire fucking walk over here. So I'm not gonna do that. Like, there's a way for me to dump you if I'm right. Right click to throw items away. So, you... The whole stack would be control. There, it's gone. Okay. And we're good now. Okay. So, here is water. I really want to show off the fishing before anything else, but in order to... Oh, here we go. We could fish down here. Whenever you see, like, little white things in the water, it means that there might be some fishies around. If you don't see that, it might not be a good place to actually... Fish at. Oh boy, I got a stream. <laughs> that wasn't me swimming. Uh, apparently there's like strong streams as well that take you away. And if you get stuck with those, you have to call the um, orc dude to save your life. You see that wave right there? Yeah, that would not be too good. Well, I don't think we'll catch anything in this area because unfortunately I'm not seeing any sort of um, fish activity in the water. But let me at least show you how it would work out otherwise. So you bring out your little rod over here. And you toss it somewhere. 
I mean, preferably like over there, <laughs> not next to you. Oh, you know what that is? The stream. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. You saw how we saw the wave, and not only the wave, but you saw how the, the, the stream itself actually dragged me down, as I mentioned. That means that the stream is being pulled all the way down, so I really can't um, fish over here. That's really impressive. I like that. Really cool little feature I wasn't even aware of. Oh, get out of the marshland, dude. Where, where, where am I at now? Get, get off of here. What is this? What's happening? Hot. Oh, it's a hot bad. Oh, no shit. Yeah, hang out over here. Positive boost, baby. I mean, I am really tired, though, so I really got to get some sleep. And since it is um, dusk, finally, I can't stream. Please stop it. Apparently, I picked up some weird seeds in the water as well. That's pretty cool. Um, where is my... Oh, here we go. I'm exhausted. Don't want you worry, buddy. I got you covered. Let's get some sleep here. Now, I hope I don't pick up an infection. It's a possibility I might. Uh, when you're s sleeping as well, your hunger does go up, so there is that. Oh, good. I picked up an infection, as I mentioned. So, let's just read this out so you know what this is all about. You have an infection caused by your critical statuses. Your movement speed is increased by 30%. Clan satisfaction increases lower by 50%. Training rates with traders like the Hawker are 25% worse, and the resource gathered with the Hammer Axe have a quality reduction of 50%. You also can't get any effects originated in positive status while infected. So in order to clear this up, we have to buy some medicine, unfortunately. Otherwise, all everything that I mentioned right here is going to affect you over time, which is no good. Now, this guy normally does have medicine to cure you. It costs a lot, though. It's going to be like $13.75, but, you know, we need it. So I'm going to buy at least one. I'll use it now. And as you will see, our effect, negative effect, is now gone. But I'm still starving, and I'm quite hung I'm tired. So I still have to go fish if I want to, you know, actually pick up stuff without a negative effect. So, let's see if we could uh, get some food. Okay, but I'm going to be tired. That's the only unfortunate part. So i got to find, like, a good um, fishing area. Obviously, where we went was no... Oh, here we possibly go? Maybe? Maybe? I don't see any fish activity, though, unfortunately. Let's see, what if I just kind of... Oh, goddamn, the stream right here. Oh, okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. I mean, I saw a momentary activity here. You got an infection, that's no longer the case. Medium rain, the ground's wetness is increased and rain barrels get filled in outdoors. Yeah. Believe me, there is so much to the game. Let me just, like, give you an idea here. Like, unfortunately, I'm doing, like, a small little look at it. As I mentioned, if you want to see some more, do let me know and I'll cover some more. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. There is so much shit to build. We haven't even talked about the farming, which you have to kind of fertilize fields and look for the right area to plant the top, like, proper seeds and stuff like that. All the stuff you could build over here as well. There's a lot to cover, but unfortunately, I'm only doing this in 20 minutes, so I think we are out of time here today. Um, this is to yeah, pick that up. Hunger and bread, we already talked about that. Refilling your stocks. Well, luckily for us, I did kind of cover all the stuff that the survival is teaching us now, so that's fine. So I kind of took the... I took one step ahead before it actually got to it. So we picked up a lot of knowledge points over here as well, which we can level up with. But as I mentioned, if you want to see some more of this, do let me know in the comments. And by leaving a like, I know consider making some more. Otherwise, all the information will be down below. As I mentioned, it's a free pre-alpha demo on Steam and also on Itch. So you can download it for free. Mess around with it. Keep your eyes on this one. This could be a really, really awesome game when it's complete down the line. I will catch you next time.